it's Bethany from One Large Chambers and today I will be sharing with you five key tips for making a successful UK sponsor license application. If you find this video helpful, please remember to like and subscribe. Now, an employee in the UK might consider getting a sponsor license because it gives them permission to be registered on the Home Office's Register of Sp Licensed Sponsors. It means um, that company it will be permitted by the Home Office to employ overseas workers and bring them into their company in the UK. Because of Brexit, overseas workers include citizens from the EU, um, Liechtenstein, Norway, Iceland and Switzerland who arrived in the UK after the 31st of December 2020. Okay, let's get started. Here are five key tips for a successful UK sponsor license application. Here we go. Tip number one, show the Home Office that you are operating a genuine business legally in the UK. You can demonstrate this by submitting the following documents um, to the Home Office while you're making the application. First is evidence of concurrent corporate bank accounts, your employer liability insurance for at least £5 million, proof of registration with HMRC as self-employed, any company tax returns, audited and unaudited accounts, certificate of VAT registration and letter from corporate banking provider setting out details with you including nature and duration of these dealings. Additional documents will need to be provided if you are operating a regulated business that requires specific licenses to run in the UK. Um, these exact documents will vary depending on the type of uh, company you're running, so it is advised that you get uh, legal advice from an uh, expert immigration lawyer. Tip number two. Show the Home Office that you are a genuine, dependable and honest person and that you haven't done anything conductive of the public good. It just means you need to demonstrate you have, don't have any criminal convictions or civil judgments made against your name, um, that you're not in any serious debt and you have a good credit rating. Tip number three. Show the Home Office that you are capable of carrying out the sponsor license duties. One of these duties is record keeping. So you must always keep a record of the skilled worker's passport, pay slips and any essential contracts like the employment contract in a safe place. The second is um, the duty to report. So you have a duty as um, the sponsor's license holder to tell the Home Office of any irregularities, significant changes or termination of your sponsored skilled worker. If you fail to do these duties, you might risk um, having your license revoked. Tip number four, show that you are offering a genuine employment and that it meets the necessary skill and wages criteria. It is important that you are able to explain why overseas workers are necessary in your organisation and why that specific job can't be given to an equally qualified settled worker. You can only sponsor jobs on the skilled workers visa if it is listed in the UK Home Office's Eligible Occupations and Code for Skilled Worker Visas list. Quite a mouthful, um, but it's important that you make sure that your salary uh, meet the minimum requirement of, of at least £25,600 per annum or the salary requirement specific to the job that you are sponsoring. <music> Last but not least, tip number five. Show that you have the right personnel and key users in your organization. This is because these key personnel will be managing um, the sponsor management system or SMS for short. It's an online portal that um, needs to be complied with um, if you are thinking about employing an overseas worker. And it's incredibly important that you give this job to someone who is trustworthy and reliable because any errors or wrongdoings by that person could result in your UK sponsor license being revoked. If you're interested in making a UK sponsor license, it is important for you to take legal advice from our expert immigration uh, solicitors and barristers. They'll be able to advise you on the correct immigration route, um, what correct documents to supply and to help you um, meet all the eligible requirements for the UK sponsor license.
Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found it useful. If you want more information, visit our website at onelawchambers.com or alternatively, give us a call. Please remember to like, like and subscribe for more content in the future. Thank you for watching. See you soon. Bye.